All right, so what you guys were here for? Y'all ready? How's it going guys? Welcome to another video. I know it's been a while since I last uploaded, but I want to let you guys know what's going on. And I actually have a new car already, so you guys are going to be able to see that. Um, so first thing I want to get into is I'm in school, so I kind of don't have any time to vlog or like post any videos lately. It's kind of just been like a school work kind of thing, so I've been kind of busy lately, so there wasn't any content to really record. So I'm really sorry about that guys. Some of you guys have noticed, or most of you guys have noticed already, um, the, the title the name of the channel has recently changed it's just for some other reasons that i don't kind of want to get into um but just know that it has it's going to be andrew hdz so just keep that in mind guys it's not really a big thing I, for me i personally don't think it should matter so what has been going on so guys i have actually found this car on the internet so far i was in a deep research of what car to get next and i was like I don't know what honestly what I should get. I was looking in maybe into like uh, Mustang GTs, Mach 1s or GTOs or something maybe American to switch up the game. You guys will find out here soon. But um, I just want to let you guys know that what's been going on, um, I didn't want to leave you guys out. So I'm here right next to the car. I honestly think this was one of the best purchases I've ever made in my life. Um, it's like honestly in a perfect condition that I think personally for its price um, It has been a while since I've already owned the car a lot of people that I know actually know that I have this car and ha it's already kind of like a Common thing now it has been maybe two weeks since I've owned the car So everybody has an idea what I have already or um, knows what I have. All right So what you guys were here for y'all ready? Oh, I got an HR y'all know I cannot leave the VQ game I could not resist getting another Z because these oh my god these are just amazing. So this is my 2008 Nissan 350Z Enthusiast. If you don't know the difference between a DE or my last car and this car, basically this one has a better engine, a better transmission, and overall it's just a better car. The Enthusiast, which comes with the LSD, the cruise control and the volume control buttons. It's not really like a big thing for everybody, but I personally really like that. I think it's really cool for the car. I went all the way down to Houston and drove four hours from here where I was at. Uh, it wasn't too much far of a drive. And uh, just give you guys a little bit of look around, around the car. I know, I know that y'all see that. I'll get to it in just a minute, just to let you show you guys inside so here's that oh man it looks awesome it came with the double den um it came with this weird ass shift knob i hate this shift knob so much because it's like bolted through the freaking shifter and i like it just every time i shift you just rub your freaking hand or your fingers through this and it just it gets annoying so that's one of the first things that i'm gonna do to the car as well Get a new shift knob and might as well get a whole shift boot too. I think that'll look cool. One thing really cool about these is um, it has the whole leather thing going on here. The other one it didn't. And just some little things about this car that it just is awesome. Better than the other one, honestly. Uh, so one cool feature about this car is that right there. The traction control. I finally have that now. And, um, you know, the limits just slip differential. You can't go wrong with that. A lot of 350Zs come with the VLSD. Um, we're still in open diff, but this one's an LSD, so it's really cool. Um, I honestly think it's just a, a great car overall. Um, it's already lower, too. I don't know exactly what. It's on springs, but I don't know what kind of springs it's on. But it is lowered, and it looks pretty nice. It's definitely a lot lower from my other car, and I'd just be scraping everywhere. So some minor effects on this car. Um, if I didn't notice, there's this crack on here. That's just a little thing. So if it gets to the point that it's just leaking or um, it gets cracked up a lot more, I might just have to change it. The window motors actually work. The doors actually work. So I know what you're thinking about this. Like, what the fuck is going on here? When I bought the car, it did. It does have a check engine light because of the cat, and it does have the tire pressure sensor. The dealer was just telling me. That, oh no, it's just because of 370 wheels that it has on here. Obviously, I didn't know better. Now, I just got to the point where I woke up this morning and um, I drove it just down the street as usual. And then the freaking steering wheel started going sideways. I was like, what the hell was going on? No big guys, because we we're going to change out the wheels anyway. So, like, literally just the day before I got my fenders rolled. So, I guess everything does happen for a reason in a way. But I did get my fenders rolled, actually. So, um... 
this tire was actually uh, almost rubbing against the defender in here but as you guys can try to see let's see if i can hold on see if i can show you guys see there it's all rolled up it did first look like this and now it's all rolled up i'm pretty sure you guys are already trying to hear the car i'm just going to go ahead and give you guys an exhaust clip right here and go ahead and see what you guys think So there was that clip for you guys. Um, I know some of you guys are thinking like, what the hell, what kind of exhaust is that? Honestly, I don't even know. It's just customized. Probably one of you guys would know, or somebody would know. Instead of having the Y pipe, they actually converted it into like a Y going into an X pipe and pretty much just all custom piping and it's just a mess. I'm definitely gonna change that back to my old exhaust that I have in there. You guys are also seeing too that it, it sounds like Something's wrong, like yes, there is something wrong. One of the cats are bad on this side and that's the car that makes it sound like crap right now. That's all gonna be changed soon. I think I'm gonna go for test pipes for this car. I was thinking maybe to get either Burke test pipes or Z1 test pipes, I'm not too sure yet. But besides this whole flat thing and all these little cosmetic issues, anything like that, like I cannot explain in words like how amazing this car is. Some people do say like, oh, you shouldn't have gone to GTO, you should have gone to Mustang. Well, I mean, yeah, but like I could just cannot turn down this offer and this one thing I did want to say is I do have low oil pressure um, Typically I hear Some either bad things about these or good things about these I do have to work a lot on the exhaust setup right now Let me know your opinions and what you guys think that's all I have to say about this car Like I said, let me know what you guys think know that this car is not gonna stay as is There's a lot of things coming for this car later on in the future I just have to work my way around school and work and it's kind of like a, a struggle to do right as of right now Just know that some things are gonna be coming for this car if it's not now it's gonna be later I'm gonna be trying to film some things here and there just so I can give you guys content I'm Trying to have somebody come by and maybe help me out and change out these wheels right now If you like the car Please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe. But like I said, guys, I hope you really like the car. There's going to be a lot of themes coming for this, so just wait on it. I'll see you guys in the next one. All right. Bueno.